by slush59134. Let's do map three. All right. 67, 26, and 3. Hmm. I don't mind when Doom Guy has to make a tough decision as far as which way am I going to go. Um, what I do mind is that there's no decision here. They're both chain gunners, so either way it's just kind of run into the fire. So if it were like chain gunner here and former humans already coming at me, then that's kind of a cool tension. That's like, well, when do I shoot? Because I gotta, or I try, do I try to get them to attack him? What do I do? As a result, I'm just gonna go get that plasma gun. Okay. Little vent thing. We've got the, uh, <laughs> we've got the sky textures used as textures, as like paintings on the wall here. Hmm. Rocket launcher, and that's a secret. Interesting. Alright, map isn't horribly long, so I'm gonna... Some of you... Some of you know what I'm going to end up saying about this map. Um, but I won't say that until it's over. But some of you... You know what I'm thinking, right? Some of you... Some of you know what I'm going to say about this map. It's pretty obvious. Yeah, so you see, I mean, it's got kind of a decent layout here. Some areas that are that are uh, explorable, but don't really give you anything right away. This is kind of a that's kind of odd. <laughs> Backpack there. So we go yellow, and then we'll come back and go red. It looks like. Then we'll do red later. Oh no, I, there was no red. It was blue all along. Okay. Hmm. No super shotgun. This doesn't seem like a kind of level to withhold the super shotgun in. Hey, what's this? I missed the secret. Hmm. I don't know. A lot of little walls like this going on. What's the deal? Alright, whatever. Um, Alright, blue. And there's my red. Another plasma gun. That's a secret. That should not be a secret. <laughs> okay. So yeah, you, don't you get the sense that the monster placement is kind of random feeling? Well, I got a feeling there's a reason for that. <laughs> I don't just have a feeling, I know. I know there's a reason for that. 
Wait, I didn't see that before. Oh, Berserk over there. Cool, that'll help. And that's a secret. I mean, I, I don't mind the Berserk being over there, but that's not really a secret, is it? Alright, red is right here now. How convenient. <laughs> okay. Oh, I got the invisibility, right. Yeah, I mean, just to... There's tons of cells, but this definitely feels like a level that you include a super shotgun. Oh. Got distracted by that arch file over there. Well, he's on a pillar too, so... No big deal. Oh gosh. Oh wait. Ah. Poor timing. Really poor timing. That my exit? Oh, yeah, that's my exit. Okay, that's very sudden. All right. Um, all right. So, what to say about this map? Um, yeah, as far as uh, the mapper, slush. I there's not much I can say about slush, because this isn't slush's map. This is Oblige's map. And there are very few modifications made to it. Honestly, I mean, this exit is similar to the first few maps. But all of this stuff has all the hallmarks of Oblige mapping. If you don't know what Oblige is, it's a Doom map generator. It's actually a pretty cool thing to mess around with. Um, but if you create a map in Oblige and then don't modify it at all, it's, it's very obvious. Can I knock it out anymore? Oh yeah, here we go. If you do that, it's very obvious that the map was created in Oblige. It has, you know, it has these trims like this. It has long hallways, very distinct hallways. It has these very narrow stairs. It's got monsters on pillars. It's got goodies in certain ways. It's got ridiculously easy secrets. It's got these tiny little closets with, with stuff. Um, and, uh, yeah, what I... What I kind of like about oblige maps is they tend to give you a, a decent layout, right? I mean, this isn't a bad layout at all. It gets a little bit linear when the red key is in the blue area and then you just kind of continue on. Um, but, uh, I mean, it's, it's, it's fairly simple to just knock down a few walls and end up with a pretty nicely connected layout if you start with oblige. Um, however, it is going to give you if, especially if you don't do any outdoor areas, you're going to get uh, not a whole lot of, like, scale variety besides your tunnels, pretty much. Um, so that's one thing that uh, is affected visually. Combat? Combat, I've not played a lot of Oblige maps for combat. Usually I just kind of look at the layouts and go from there. Um, but uh, as you can see, you didn't get a lot of interesting stuff. I mean, not really any traps, not really any anything really utilizing the, the, or the uh, topography and stuff like that. It just seemed like monsters are kind of just, just there. Also, you yeah, had inconsistency in the damaging floor. 
Because that's damaging and this isn't, which is very weird. Um, so yeah, the bottom line is Oblige cannot do it all for you. You know, you can start with an Oblige map and, and make some modifications. And you might come out with something decent. I, in fact, I, uh, I did this fairly recently. I, I took an Oblige map. In fact, it was very similar to this. It, the original Oblige map heavily featured the marble walls and, you know, these small staircases and stuff like that. But, um, and, you know, even if you leave the appearance alone, you gotta make some changes to the combat, I think. Sometimes even to the progression for it to be a, like, legitimate map. Oblige just doesn't really do a great job of giving you a map that really ends up being a good map. I don't know, maybe they're better for deathmatch. Or something like that. Um, but, and, and the other thing is, you gotta own it. I mean, you don't, you don't want to pass off this map as your own, because that's just, that's not honest. This is factually 100% an obliged generated map, and it has hardly been modified. Um, so you gotta give credit where credit is due, otherwise that really leaves a bad taste in people's mouth when they say, oh, you thought you could pull one over me? Well, first of all, you couldn't, and B, why did you try? Um, so, so yeah, make sure you give credit to Oblige when you do something like this. And secondly, I mean, <laughs> there's a big difference. You, you, you know, this map isn't made by humans, and, and you can tell, not just by looking at it, but by playing it. It feels off in many places. I don't think the combat was changed much. I don't think the monsters were changed out much. I think, um, I think it was largely left alone. So I think when you do an Oblige map, when I, I, like I said, I did one recently for a, a wad I'm working on. Um, I didn't put in any monsters. I, you can do that. You can make an obliged map and tell it to give you no monsters at all. So that way, at least all the combat is original, you know. Um, and then I, I still think you probably got to work with the layout and mess with some other stuff. But uh, that's at least one, I think, good way to start if you want to work with an obliged map. All right, we're done. So yeah, I think I've said everything I needed to say there. Like I said, the bottom line is, Blige can't do it all.